hello and welcome to another vlog if you are an iphone user and you are making video content or maybe sometimes you want to record your screen you might be taking help of different apps from your app store i'm using one of the recording app and uh, since i do all the video editing recordings everything over my phone so i needed one option that is the pointer over my phone but i was not able to get it easily which was not making a complete helpful tutorial or any video if i'm making like for example this is my video editor let's say i'm trying to show here the option that i'm clicking let's say i want to write a text here i know that i have clicked the text button that is down here but if some second person is watching it he will it will be difficult for him to figure it out what option i have clicked so for that there's a cursor or a pointer is required which is a self-explanatory that which option i have clicked but unfortunately i did not find any pointer here easily but after digging out i came up with an option in my iphone which was really helpful for me so i just wanted to share that with you so for that i will go to the settings i'll go to accessibility and here is a touch option first of all i'll on this assistive touch once i switch it on there's a pointer coming up i want a touch cursor right so for that i will create new gesture okay here i will tell what gesture i want i just want a dot which could show the options i'm clicking over my phone screen after showing the dot i will do the save uh, i will uh, give the name like touch and then i will save it well i have already done it so i'm not gonna save it again okay just to show you the options i'm doing it again here you could see this touch option let me just second double tap yeah it's here i will click touch okay so after doing this now i will go to the app where i need the cursor i will click this add assistive touch button okay i will go custom this touch option i will click on it and you can see the touch button is appearing here now it will show me what option i am clicking let's say if i am doing if i am clicking back i will click here it went back if i want to write a text i will press text the other options came here if i want to go back i will click here and uh, let's say i want to highlight it, highlight the video i highlight it if let's say i want to edit it here this cursor is showing this video i have to edit now if i'm pressing split it split it out on this 7.9 seconds so basically it's it's helping my video to give a clarification that what options i am doing so this was a small information i just wanted to share with you if this video is an informative one please like and don't forget to share it further i hope to see you in another video till then bye